Hey guys, today we're back with another range review. And today on the channel we'll be reviewing the P220 ST45 ACP. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back. Once again, today we're going to be reviewing the P220 ST 6 Sour 45 AC, ACP. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, this right here uh, is one of the more interesting P220s I've ever had. Uh, as y'all know, I've really never had a P220 on the channel. I'm trying to think. I've had a, I've had a P226. I've only had, uh, I've had a few P226s. I've only had that late stainless on the channel. Uh, I've never had a P220 to my greatest, uh, to my knowledge. I've never had a, uh, I've, I've had a P212, P P210, sorry, just woke up a few minutes ago. Uh, but now this right here is the first P220 I've ever had on my channel. Uh, this right here is the one where the uh, exterior uh, top frame is made in New Hampshire and the slide, or the, and the lower frame is made in Germany. Uh, so on most of them, you'll see like a dual tone stainless, like this will be a wider type of stainless and this will be more of a silver type of stainless. Uh, some light that you see this in, in uh, the lower does look a little bit different than the upper, but it's not as bad as on some that I've, some that I've seen. Uh, this gun right here was made a lot for law enforcement. I didn't actually know that until I started doing a little research on it. Uh, it come with uh, two uh, eight round magazines. Uh, so nine if you have one in the chamber. Uh, so like I was saying, this gun right here was used a lot for law enforcement. Uh, what period it was, I'm really not sure, being honest with you guys. Uh, I'm trying to even think about when this would have been uh, introdu or introduced into uh, law enforcement because, you know, uh, Glock kind of took over with the 40 calibers in the late 90s, early 2000s. And they kind of roam with it more like early 2000s. They kind of roam with it for the longest time until they started switching back to the 9mm. And I can't even uh, recall when uh, Sig would have had a chance to introduce a, a P220 in 45 and it sell really well. Um, that being said, this is one of the best shooting 45s I've ever had. As you all know, I've had about literally every single other 45 on the market. And uh, this right here is overall one of the best shooting uh, pistols in recoil and everything that I've ever had with a 45. And that's really saying something because I've had a Wilson Combat 45, I've had a TAC 45 FNX, <clears throat> and uh, I'm telling you something, for what it is, this how heavy this gun is now though, you've got a lot of trade-offs. Uh, this gun right here, uh, it's... It, it feels like a bricky hand, no, no, I'm not kidding. It, it, the P226 Elite Stainless was the same way. But now, uh, this gun right here, for what it is, it, the ergonomics in it are a lot better where it's a single stack. So I, you can really get a good grip on the, on the pistol and everything. But now, uh, a lot of these you'll find as law enforcement trading the guns. But uh, being honest with you guys, I don't even think this right here has ever been in a holster because it ain't got a bit of wear on it one. And like you know, a lot of stainlesses are that uh, if there ha if there has uh, been you know a lot of wear on it, they'll polish it off. This gun right here has original, uh, 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 you know, uh, thing on it from factory. Sorry, uh, original finish on it from factory. Uh, like I was saying though, these guns really I don't understand where they would have been put in. At this gun right here would have fit more in like a late 80s early 90s kind of vibe but now whenever it comes to law enforcement i'm guessing that these really didn't uh, didn't do good or they didn't something happened with them because like i said i didn't i never knew about a p220 being in law enforcement you know as as you all know i'm you know pretty pretty deep into law enforcement whenever it comes into firearms and everything like that uh especially on the history of it but now uh like I said, I don't, I don't ever recall any kind of police department having a P220 and 45. I know uh, my local ones had uh, the P226 and 40 caliber, and the P229 and 40 caliber sometime uh, in the early 2000s. But now, um, like I said, I don't, I don't recall any police department, any major one, in a little while carrying a 45, let alone uh, something like this right here. But going back to the where uh, you can find a lot of these with police trade-ins online, that you can see them running about six ninety-nine, seven ninety-nine, depending on the price and everything. But uh, the closest gun that this right here comes to, after I've done a little bit of research, is the Elite Stainless. Uh, but now this gun right here, new, still sells for uh, for upwards of one thousand, like 
last time I checked, it was right at eleven hundred dollars. So, um, and like I said, I don't, this camera here has not been a police trading gun. This is a civilian marketed gun that somebody's bought new because this is this is one of them that, like I said, would have been right at uh, eleven hundred dollars. But now the police trading ones, it, they would still be a good gun, selling about right at eight hundred dollars a piece. Um, and you can't you can't find them anymore. One of them, every one of them I looked at still are about sold out everywhere. But now mm -hmm. for what it is, this pistol right here, as good as it takes a forty five, I think that if you can find one even for eight hundred dollars, you better get it if you're looking for a good shoot forty five because this is one of the best I've ever felt. Like I was telling you guys, uh, Sig uh, has never disappointed me besides the P three sixty five XL, and uh, this is not going to be no different. Um, whenever they made good guns, whenever they made some killer weapons. That's right, cheers, one of them. But guys, I appreciate y'all viewing. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in space below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, like I said, if you can find one of these for any price around eight hundred dollars, even if you're even more than that, because uh, you're going to be getting just as good as uh, accuracy and everything like that out of this right here, if not better than uh, the P220 Elite Stainless. But guys, I appreciate y'all viewing. Like and subscribe for more gun reviews, and I will see you all in the next video.